Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Per Diem Thrift. If you are new here, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark. I also have my own brick and mortar consignment store. And I haven't really brought you guys in here that much lately, I feel like. So here's a little tour. We've got a lot of work to do today. We're actually open, so I'm gonna try to sneak in a bunch of work while I don't have customers down here. It could be busy, it could not, we will see. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just kind of take you along on my day and show you what I do at the store. This week is really busy because I'm planning a fill a bag sale this Saturday. Today's currently Wednesday. So I have to prep for that. I have to like kind of clean up my store. I also got a crap ton of inventory in this past weekend. I had two really big lots of consignment come in. That's like almost all brand new Torrid. So I just finished hanging everything on this rack over here. So I finished hanging everything here. Now I have to decide if I want to tag it right now or if I want to just kind of push it to the side until I finish planning everything for the sale that I'm doing. But on top of all that, I still have to ship some sales from the past couple days that I made on Poshmark and clean up my office because it is a hot mess. I also hired a VA last night and it's been I think over a year since I tried using a VA um, so I have to write out some stuff for her to kind of prep what she's going to be doing for me essentially I want to not have to worry about cross listing or even listing um, so I'm just gonna have her cross list everything from my Poshmark closet onto eBay so I can get back on there and then eventually once all that's done um, she'll just draft listings for me and get those up so a lot to do today um, and I'm kind of embarrassed because my office is a hot mess but you're just gonna see what it's like working in my store today whenever I have like a long running to-do list of things that just seem like they're so big of a project to tackle I like to go through and just check off all of the easy things so I'm going to get started by shipping out my Poshmark sales I only have three that I need to ship out so I figured this will be just one easy thing to cross off my to-do list um, and I thought I'd just show you guys what sold. First thing that sold is this set of three pieces. It's by Aloe. If you guys watched my Lululemon and Aloe haul, this was part of it. I started to get lazy and just started like bundling them. Um, I originally had this listed for $100 for the three pieces, which I think is a steal, honestly. Um, but I took an offer. We kind of went back and forth for a little while, but we settled on $70. For the three, I'm not mad at it. I just want to move this stuff. I am trying to move things as much as I can. It's the end of the month, so I just want to sell as much as I can. Um, so after the fees, I made $56, and then it was a consignment item, so I do have to pay that out. I love these things. They are the padded flat mail, or sorry, the padded flat envelopes. They're waterproof, they're self-adhesive, and they protect your items. Number one, down. Next, I'm not taking this out. This is by Baltic Born, which is becoming one of my favorite like bread and butter brands. It is a bridesmaid's dress. This is a size medium, and it's called the Vonnie Maxi Dress. This sold for $35 minus Poshmark fees. I made uh, $28. This was also another um, offer from a buyer. This one did sell through promoted listings. It's so crazy because last last week I sold one item through promoted listings and it was like $150 item. It was an outright purchase, which was amazing. This week they're all like lower tier and it's not a lot, but I've made like five sales from this last week through promoted listings. Way more just like regular sales. It's I think it's starting to balance out. It's like starting to become consistent like my sales are starting to become a little bit more consistent through promoted listing so I guess it just takes a little bit of time and I'm gonna wait it out and see how it does the last item that sold sold super quick in like 24 hours and it is this maxi dress by Nike it is brand new with tags here and I listed this, obviously I put it under Barbie, I put it under Barbie core. It is an extra large as well, so that also might have catered to why it sold so quickly. But I actually purchased it at a Play-Doh's Closet 50% off sale. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it off the top of my head, but this sold so fast. It's just a regular like maxi dress, nothing crazy. I'll put the listing here so you can see it. Um, this sold for $30, again, by offer to Likers, or offer from Liker. I originally had it listed for $50, but I took it because for less than, 
I paid less than $10, I know that for sure. And it sold so quick, so I just want it gone. I didn't even need to inventory it or anything. It was literally still hanging in my light box from when I photographed it and then just dipped. I didn't even inventory it or anything. So we're just gonna get this packed up really quick and then my shipping will be done. And this is where my day starts to get a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> Um, this probably doesn't look as bad as it actually is, but all of this inventory here is stuff that I had on consignment that is now expired that I need to either give back to consigners or they donate them. Um, and when they donate them, they go into this pile over here. <laughs> Um, it's on this chair, it's in these bins here. I'm gonna take all of these items that have been donated and I'm going to sort them into bins and this is what's going to be part of my fill a bag sale. Um, and then I have to kind of get all of that organized so that it's ready to go for Saturday, which is coming up really soon. I just feel like it's a lot of work, but I think if I just hunker down, put my head down, and get it done it actually won't be that bad i bet i'll get it finished like way sooner than i expected um but i'm gonna use this table here this is what i did last time i put all of these clear bins on this table and then i didn't even have anything sorted by size it was just kind of like a free-for-all and i'll push this out there when the time comes and then people will just go through that so it's easiest if i just set it all up now and then we'll figure it out from there I think I've talked about this a little bit on here. I think I've like made some hints about it, but it's just a process that has been going on for so long and I tried to keep it a secret, but I am just at this point now where I'm like ready to tell everybody. So part of the reason I'm running this sale is because I'm moving locations. I'm moving to an actual like street level storefront, which I'm super excited about. I just went in there yesterday to kind of go over some more stuff I'm gonna sign the lease this week and I'm just super stoked but I need new inventory or I want to clear out some of the stuff that I've been sitting on for a while and then um, bring in new stuff whether it's like buying wholesale or just getting new consignment clients so yeah that's part of the reason why I'm doing this sale just to get rid of some stuff because I know that it's not this for everybody, but since I'm in here all the time, I just feel like I see the same things over and over again, and I'm sick of it. And I spent the last year really like learning about what was gonna do well in my store, and now I kind of have a better idea of what I should be picking up, what I should be accepting, and when I go to the bins, like what I should be buying in. And so I wanna get rid of some of the things that I just kind of was like testing out. And now I have like a very clear idea of what my buyers, what my customers want. Of course I'm gonna get new customers too when I move, which I'm so excited about. But yes, this is part of the reason why I'm doing this. And there's some good stuff in here. I mean like, not great, but like there's Gymshark, there's free people, um, there's Madewell in here. I know that people are going to really score and find some great stuff. And that's great. It just gives me some cash inflow while I am planning for my move. I also have a bunch of like new tags things that I bought like in wholesale. Um, so I'm I'm keeping these here. I'm probably gonna take some of the things to like Buffalo Exchange or Plato's Closet and see if they want to take any of it. Like this is so pretty. I go back and forth between wanting to do just like a bunch of live sales or if I want to like haul all of this stuff to Plato's Closet because the last time I went they like barely took anything and it's a lot of work. Plato's Closet is about like an hour and a half away from me so I have to like put everything in my car, take it out there and then they may or may not buy things. But on the other hand, having live shows like it's not always guaranteed. I did one the other day, nobody bought anything so it's just like what do I do? If I wish Plato's Closet was closer because then I would just, that would be like such an easy thing. Um, but yeah, I could do like mystery boxes and just like try to get rid of things and sell them for super cheap, but I'm not sure. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Would you buy a mystery box with this stuff or what? I might actually, if I have time, do like a mini live show on Poshmark today. 
We'll see if I get to it. I keep adding things to my list, but I'm not even done with everything else that I was supposed to do. So I totally ended up doing a live sale and it only did it for like 30 minutes and I made about 80 bucks, so I'm not mad at it. I got rid of some of the things that I was just gonna be putting in my fill -a bag sale. So even though I did like a $5 start, I still made more money on these items versus what I would probably make on them in the sale. So, and also to make it easier, I sold, I think, Everything that sold sold to one person besides one thing <laughs> So I'm not mad at it I am going to pack this up so I can bring it with all the rest of my stuff and then Honestly, this was just a way for me to procrastinate and Get away from doing all the other things that I have to do But we're gonna do this and then I think I'm gonna try to make some content as well See how just scattered my day is man. It just never ends and it's just me continuously adding to my to-do list. I simultaneously feel like I did so much today, but at the same time, like I did nothing. So I'm actually gonna write out everything that I've done already and then all the things that I still need to do so I can stay focused. Cause I have like, what time is it? It's like two o'clock, it's 1.48. I'm really hungry, I need lunch. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> okay, but let's see. So I've already shipped my sales. I hung all new inventory charlie came and picked up my sales so that i could he could ship them out for me there he is um what else did i do i um prepped for thank you bye <laughs> love you prepped for fill a bag i still need to finish doing that but i did most of it I did a live sale, which was an impromptu live sale. I still need to, so I'm gonna cross all that out. I still need to finish sorting old inventory. I need to photograph my new haul that I just picked up yesterday. It's like only a couple items, so photograph new stuff, inventory. I have like a pile of stuff that I need to put into like my reusable bags and then put them in my inventory. And then I wanted to make some reels. I have to make a reel advertising my sale. And then I was gonna make a reel styling this onesie because I bought this onesie in the boutique upstairs and I was gonna do stuff like with my stuff in my store and be like, how to style a onesie. But a little collab thing. Um, so let's go ahead and what should I do first? I'm gonna order some lunch. That's what I'm gonna do first, actually. I'm trying to DoorDash something. But we shall see. I could order food from this boba cart that I love. And they have like orange chicken and rice, which actually, actually sounds really good. Should I add a drink? This is my daily, like, I just need to start making myself lunch. I do not. Actually, when I move into my store, I'm planning on having like a whole like snack closet or like snack section so i will always have snacks in stock i know denali el ducho thrifts she has a snack closet at her warehouse and i'm just gonna copy the same thing <laughs> so i won't have to freaking order food all the time but i think i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get a crispy orange chicken rice bowl a spam musubi and then i haven't even finished my coffee from this morning well i can cross order lunch off my men off my list and I still have to do everything else. I am probably going to take a break when I eat. Wow, this is a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Um, but while I wait for my food, I'm going to go ahead and finish sorting. Because this is the, probably like the, the thing that I want to do the least. Um, so when people's stuff expires off the floor, I pull it all off. And then I have to go through each tag and like separate them by consigner. There has to be a better way. There has to be like a more efficient way for me to do this. Uh, but as of right now, it this is why. It just takes so much time to like go through and like look at each number read each tag and then match them up um but yeah i have to do that right now and then contact those consigners and see if they want to pick up their stuff or if i'm donating or if they want me to donate them the more i'm like looking at all this inventory the more i'm just like after this fill a bag sale i'm donating all of it i don't want to do donate it to like goodwill or like a thrift store i really want to find a an organization that i can drop these clothes off to but we shall see how it goes Maybe I'll do like a take what you need sale and just have it all be free. 
and let people take it. I don't know. It's just so much work and I don't want to do any of it anymore. Okay, I just got news actually that our local like best of the gorge contest just started today So if you guys have some time, I would really appreciate it. This is gonna be my first time with my boutique like actually Being part of this competition, um, but I have been nominated under two categories or not me My store has been nominated under two categories um, best consignment shop and then best boutique So you can vote every single day. You don't have to live here locally um, to vote so if you guys would take some time out of your days from now until August 9th to go vote for me I will link all of it down below but I would really appreciate it they will print my store in this magazine with all of the best of the gorge businesses and it will just really help like promote my brick and mortar so if you guys have time if you guys have any moment even if you can only vote once like i really really appreciate it i'm gonna be voting every single day you're not gonna hear me shut up about this for a little while because i would love to win obviously um but yeah that's super excited i am i'm making it man i am <laughs> i'm doing things so really excited about that i'm gonna go and post all of this on social media right now like hangout time so honestly you'll find me upstairs just like hanging out with Hannah um, the owner of the studio and my best friend honestly like most of the time I'll be up there but on days like today when I really need to be productive and get things done I like allow myself periods of time to go up there and chat with her and that's like my reward anyway it is time to tackle this haul of stuff that I need to photograph it's actually not a lot it's just this stuff here and a couple pairs of shoes in this bag if you guys want to see more hauls i've been posting like mini ones on tiktok so if you guys want to go follow me over there i will put it here and you guys can go watch my content there i also have these bras that a consignment client brought in i actually have a bunch of bras i have more and i was thinking of posting all of these they're all like victoria's secret and they're in really good condition i don't have a lot of experience selling bras i recently put up some bundles of like underwear <laughs> they're all brand new from torrid but i got it from that big lot a bu bundle of underwear and then a bundle of like bralettes so we'll see how those do i might just photograph these and get them listed because i have them here um but yeah i also but before i came here to talk to you guys i knocked out some content i posted about the contest that i'm in and then i posted about my fill bag sale so i'm feeling good i crossed another thing off my list and now i'm just going to photograph these and this shouldn't take me long either part of the reason why i am struggling to do so much is because i'm trying to film it's like a double-edged sword because if i'm filming something i obviously have to like show that i'm doing productive things so i do end up being more productive but it takes longer for me to do things because i'm constantly trying to like film it so it's like a double-edged sword because <laughs> would i have done all this stuff if i wasn't recording i'm not sure um but i know that it would have taken me less time so i'm going to just knock off the couple extra things that i added on here i ended up adding clean off my shipping table finish sorting through the inventory and then inventory the stuff um i think i can get it done today it is currently 3 41 um i have to teach a class at 6 30 so i have from now until 6 30 to get everything done <sighs> And I think I'm just going to end the video here so that I can knock all this out. But stay tuned. Soon I'm going to be making a lot more content all about like the move, about what it's like moving spaces, opening a new space, all that jazz. So you will be seeing a bunch of cleaning videos and all of that from me. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Sorry, I'm super washed out because of my light box. Um, but anyway... Let me know what other kind of content you guys want to see or if you have any questions about like owning a brick and mortar store, having like a workspace outside of your house, like let me know. I'd love to answer your questions. But thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye!